Hi, good morning. Welcome back to Escape Forever Free. I'm your girl Faith here at Escape Forever Free. We are teaming together to restore physical, mental, spiritual, and social wholeness. We thank you so much for coming back to join us. This is our one hour alone time kickstart devotional guide. All right, so the aim is for us to practice through this particular crutch to spend at least one hour with God every single day. So you choose your best sacrificial time for the week or each day, turn up at that time as faithfully as we can. We watch this video, then at the end of the video, you will continue you and God alone for one hour. So thank you for joining. We also invite that you look through the channel. We also provide health um, exercise, juicing routine and mental expression and educational time so we pray that you'll consider prayerfully if you don't have these um habits in your routine to join us for support again welcome to our channel we're gonna pray and go into our routine of our one over alone time kickstart devotional guide for this we'll need the 1888 edition of the great controversy as well as the king james version of the bible let us pray Righteous Father, thank you for another opportunity. Holy God who sits on high and looks tenderly on us below for us to come before you and for us to also have opportunity to be alive so we can seek after the salvation of our soul. We pray that you'll guide us in the truth and light that you have prepared for us to have today. And we pray that each person that listen will understand clearly what message you have for them in this sharing. We also beg that we'll Build the healthy habits of drawing nearer to you every single day by committing to morning and evening worship and sacrifice. And we pray, Father, that you'll bless every effort that we make to restore our wholeness. In Jesus' name, we pray with hope and thanksgiving. Amen. So we're going to go into our memory text. Of course, every week we try to commit a text to memory. This week's memory text is... Psalm is coming from Psalm 27 and verse 14. It says, Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Again, Psalm 27 and verse 14. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. This memory text is so much for me. I hope it is for somebody else. And I pray that we'll truly, through the strength of God, be able to follow through on this um, admonishment. May God help us to be able to recall it in due season to bring glory to his name as well. We go now to the pages of the Great Controversy. We're going to start our reading this morning at page 457.1. So we're in chapter 26, A Work of Reform. All right, For page 457.1. It reads, The history of ancient Israel is a striking illustration of the past experience of the Adventist people. God led his people in the Advent movement even as he led the children of Israel from Egypt. In the great disappointment, their faith was tested as was that of the Hebrews at the Red Sea. Had they still trusted to the guiding that to the guiding hand that had been with them in their past experience, they would have been they would have seen the salvation of God. No. If all who had labored unitedly in the work in 1844 had received the third angel's message and proclaimed it in the power of the Holy Spirit, the Lord would have wrought mighty, the Lord would have wrought mighty works. The Lord would have wrought mighty, mightily rather with their efforts. A flood of light would also have been shed upon the world. Years ago, the inhabitants of earth would have been warned. 
the closing work completed and Christ would have come for the redemption of his people. It was not the will of God that Israel should wander 40 years in the wilderness. He desired instead to lead them directly to the land of Canaan and establish them there a holy, happy people. But as Hebrews 3 and verse 19 made it clear, let's read Hebrews 3 verse 19. Turn your Bibles and it reads, so we see that they could not enter in because of unbelief. So you see the reason given there? Unbelief. Back to the pages of the Great Controversy. So according to Hebrews there, because of their backsliding, they because of their backsliding and apostasy, they perished in the desert and others were raised up to enter the promised land. Now in like manner, it was not the will of God that the coming of Christ should be so long delayed and his people should remain so many years in this world of sin and sorrow. But unbelief separated them from God as they refused to do the work which he had appointed them others were raised up to proclaim the message in mercy to the world Jesus delays his coming that sinners may have an opportunity to hear the warning and find him in a shelter before the wrath of God shall be poured out we're going to stop there for today, and tomorrow we'll conclude in our reading for the week. Let us go to our meditational hymn as we reflect and prepare for our alone time with God. We do number 381, Holy Sabbath Day of Rest, and we'll do stanza 3. As the Sabbath draweth on, Friday eve at set of sun, Christian household all shall meet, sing and pray at Jesus' feet. Yes, the holy Sabbath rest, by your God divinely blessed, it to us a sign shall be. Throughout all eternity. Amen. All right. So let us pray. Righteous Father, thank you for another opportunity for us to hear truth and light. Father, I pray wherever we lack clarity or understanding on what is being shared with us, we pray that you please give us all your Holy Spirit to understand clearly. And especially where we do understand and are convicted. Please give us your Holy Spirit to compel us and to guide us into following after the truth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be now and always acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Please do continue now for one hour, you and God alone. And remember, stick to the Holy Bible, our blueprint into New Jerusalem. God bless you and see you in our next video.